Cooper Retro here. The Imagine Peace Tower, also known as the Peace Column, is a memorial to John Lennon from his widow, Yoko Ono, located near Reykjavik, Iceland. I'm here in the photo with it in the background. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> I'm not going to talk about John, who John Lennon was because if you don't know, you clearly don't live on planet Earth. <laughs> Today, December 8th, is the anniversary of Lennon's death. I will tell you about the tower in case you don't know about it. It consists of a tall tower of light projected from a white stone monument that has the words Imagine Peace carved into it in 24 languages. These words and the name of the tower are a reference to Lennon's campaign for peace and his song Imagine. The tower consists of 15 searchlights with prisms that act as mirrors reflecting the column of light vertically into the sky from a 10 meter wide wishing well. It often reaches cloud base and indeed can be seen penetrating the cloud cover. On a clear night, it appears to reach an altitude of at least 4,000 meters or 2.5 miles. The power for the lights is provided by Iceland's unique geothermal energy grid. It uses approximately 75 kilowatts of power. Buried underneath the light tower are over one million handwritten wishes that Ono gathered over the years in another project called Wish Trees. Iceland was selected for the project because of its beauty and its eco-friendly use of geothermal energy. Construction of the tower started on October 9, 2006 on what would have been Lennon's 66th birthday when Ono dedicated the location, and it was officially unveiled on the same date in 2007. The ceremony was broadcast internationally to numerous television networks. Yoko Ono said the day of the inauguration that the tower was the best thing that she and John had ever done. The tower is lit every year from October 9th, Lennon's birthday, through December 8th, the date he was killed, and from December 31st, until January 6th, the Icelandic New Year period. My mom was one of John Lennon's biggest fans, and to this day, she puts his lyrics, Imagine All the People Living Life in Peace, on our holiday cards every single year. She believes Imagine was the greatest song ever written. Lennon's life was ended when he was shot outside his apartment building, the Dakota, in New York City, on this day 41 years ago. It was tragic and horrific, and mom remembers she was driving across the state of Florida at the time with her now ex-husband, and they couldn't understand why the radio station was playing non-stop Lennon music until they stopped at a store and were informed of the tragedy. Needless to say, as a devout fan, she was devastated, as was a lot of the world. I hope you enjoyed learning about John Lennon's Tower of Peace. Now, the only thing left for us to do is to ask every one of you to imagine all the people living life in peace. Cooper Marcher here. Ciao.